Well, greetings. Uh, we are almost at that time of the year again, Holy Week, uh, and I encourage you to uh, to mark it on your calendar. To uh, it is spring break, and it's a busy time of year, but it is Holy Week, the holiest week of the church here. And, uh, there really is no other way to get from uh, the experience of, uh, of, of Lent through Easter without going through Holy Week. And I, I find that um, even though you come to Palm Sunday and then we have the, the triumphant uh, uh, procession into the church and we tell the story all the way up through Jesus' death, uh, to understand the pathos and uh, the experience and what uh, what God uh, has done and continues to do for us, I do believe you have to walk through all of the uh, uh, all of the, the Holy Week experience. And I'm always uh, buoyed by the number of people that uh, lend their hand to make that story uh, have meaning in the hearts of uh, of the faithful here at St. James. Uh, so if you haven't been part of it, I encourage you to do so. And uh, we go from Palm Sunday to to Maundy Thursday. Uh, Mandi is a word that means uh, commandment. Uh, it's a little bit of gibberish, but it's uh, for the word commandment. Uh, and it reminds us that we are to love one another the way that uh, God loved us. And uh, Jesus uh, tells us that right before washing our feet uh, in an act of humility uh, to remind us that, um, that we are to serve one another. And, uh, and that's how we show our love. Uh, by, by service to other. Um, it is the day where the, the Eucharist takes on uh, new meaning when we understand the, the first Eucharist in terms of, of both the Passover feast and, and what awaits Jesus uh, and the love and intimacy that, uh, that shared in that moment. And I think when we go to that service and we uh, participate in that moment, each Eucharist afterwards uh, has that intimacy and that sense of, um, of electricity and um, and just power. Uh, it is an intimate and powerful moment uh, where Jesus is realizing what uh, what needs to be done, uh, and is is acknowledging that He's willing to pour out His life for us. And, uh, uh, and each time we receive, uh, we remember, uh, and by re remember, I mean we recreate and we bring ourselves to that very moment. Uh, and and coming to that service, that moment has more power. And then we go from there uh, out into the, the garden, um, realizing that it wasn't an easy journey for Jesus, that taking on the, the fullness of humanity um, meant that, uh, that this wasn't just uh, a mission that Jesus uh, was undertaking. It was an incredibly powerful and difficult human experience, uh, but God was willing to take on the fullness of that experience uh, out of love for us. Uh, and we keep vigil. And then uh, I find the most moving uh, day of the church here to be Good Friday. Uh, you know, it is a day where, where we acknowledge um, that there was nothing more that God could do for us, that, uh, that everything that God uh, could pour out for us was poured out. And, uh, uh, and taking time, I know Friday's a, a, a end of the work week and um, uh, near the end of spring break. Uh, but if we just take a, some time out of our Friday to, uh, uh, to realize the incredible, incredible gift uh, that God poured out for us on the cross uh, and allow ourselves to, uh, to be vulnerable and to uh, uh, acknowledge uh, our, our own brokenness, but also acknowledge um, that God fills those places um, uh, those places where we're broken and, um, and, and bring ourselves to the foot of the cross. Uh, the 7 p.m. service, uh, I believe with the cello and, and the anthems, it, uh, I always leave um, with a sense of, of both sorrow and, uh, and grace, uh, the, just a realization that, uh, uh, that there is no more profound expression of love than uh, um, than God on the cross saying, you know, Father, please forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Uh, and, and in the sense of forsakenness that Jesus experienced, which uh, to me uh, is a moment where I, I truly uh, feel the, the full humanity that, that, that Jesus put on, not just his willingness to die, uh, but to fully be human, to know the emotions that, that each one of us have felt. Um, and I don't get that... Um, I, in the same uh, in the same power or intensity as I do on that Good Friday, and it informs the rest of my year, um, and and it, it certainly informs Easter. Uh, and Easter begins uh, Saturday. Most of us experience it that Sunday morning, uh, but it begins Saturday uh, with the Easter Vigil, and it's a uh, a service where we move from uh, from the grief and the. Uh, 
um, the darkness of, uh, of death into, into life. Uh, by the time we get there Sunday morning, uh, we, we're full bore into uh, our alleluias and our celebration. Uh, but the vigil is sort of the, uh, uh, the telling of our salvation story and the acknowledgement um, that we move from death into life. Uh, uh, and for many of us who, uh, who might be on that side of uh, things, of, of dealing with grief, uh, dealing with sorrow, uh, uh, hopelessness, uh, the moving from darkness into light may be the way that we need to experience Easter. So I uh, encourage you to, uh, to put that on your calendar as well. And then obviously Easter Day, uh, where we are absolutely uh, uh, saturated with joy and, uh, and celebration, we come in uh, and we make our alleluias bold because we've experienced everything that went into uh, uh, to getting to that, that moment of, of realizing that the tomb was empty and that God was alive. Um, that not only did God give everything, but, uh, uh, but the power of that love, the power of, of, of God uh, supersedes anything in this world. And uh, as discouraged as we get about, um, about this world or elements of this world, uh, it's a reminder that the, the world is indeed good and that at the end of the day, uh, the power of God supersedes uh, anything that might be weighing us down. And, um, and that's something that we have to be able to truly, truly hold on to and believe. And, and I think it comes from experiencing the whole of it uh, and, and really not just making that a, our Easter day uh, opening acclamation, but making that the, uh, the fundamental belief uh, that we carry out of this church, that, uh, that God is more powerful than anything that the world throws at us. And that at the end, uh, the same loving God who redeemed the world is the God that made the world. And that the arc of, of all creation uh, is towards that grace uh, and, that, and that hope that we proclaim on Easter. Uh, so I encourage you, please, please uh, mark your calendar and make the commitment to come and, and, and be part of that week. I, I still uh, find that each time I go through Holy Week, I, I walk out a little bit differently, a little bit more transformed. Um, and part of it is, is, is you all, uh, how you all participate in that week uh, and bring it into fruition. So thank you. And I wish you a very, very blessed Holy Week.